G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel. As you saw with the spin around of this tree uh, beforehand, and um, you can see that this tree, uh, you've seen it on my channel a few times, it's a black pine, uh, Pinus lumbarina, Thunbergii, I can, keep, can never say that properly. Um, I, Japanese black pine that I've um, been working on for quite some time on my channel and done quite a few videos on this tree, including trying to do a uh, trying to do a really heavy bend with a branch at the back that we got rid of and we just redesigned this tree into a nice little apex area here with some nice branches off to the side you've got a beautiful nice flowing trunk lots of dead wood over here that we've got to clean up um, not today but um, that we need to do some work on in the future and really start to enhance this tree better but um, yeah we want to try and get this what I'm, what I'm planning to do is look at this tree in this big heavy kind of uh, very formal pot. It just doesn't, I don't think it fits the, the tree's profile and it won't do any justice to the tree in the future. So I want to change this pot on this tree. This tree's probably been in this pot for maybe three to five years. I'm not sure exactly um, how many years I've had this tree in this pot, but it's been some time. But you know, I could always leave it longer. I'm not really fussed, but I want to change the pot. So that's the reason I'm repotting this tree. No other real reason other than I want to get it in a different pot, in a new pot. I was having, I was toying up a few ideas with different pots. Um, still not 100% sure on the pot because I'm not sure about this root base because it's quite large. This area that needs to get into the into the pot. So I'm just going to have a take it out. I'm going to have a look at it, have a look at the roots and what we can comb out. Um, again, with black pines, I don't bare root the tree. I don't wash all the soil off. I don't do that. I just rake all the soil out, trim off the roots, and then pretty much go into fresh soil. I want to keep the mycorrhiza fungus in the soil as uh, as much as I can, so that's what gives a it's why there's a nice symbiotic relationship between the black pines and that fungus. So um, I want to keep that. So let's um, have a look. I've taken the wire that was holding it off, done some cleanup around the place, but and it just should just come, it just found it just come straight out of the pot, which is really good, um, very easy, uh, easy to manage that then. I'll just put that underneath it. I hate creating mess if I don't have to. So, so this is a nice, I think it's a Japanese pot too. It's quite a nice pot. Um, so it's getting lots of age on it. So I'm gonna keep it for another tree sometime, somewhere, somehow. Uh, never be short of pots, I'll tell you. Um, so let's just, let's just get work on this tree and get all this. It's a good chance also to get rid of these weeds that are growing through. Um, I just wanted to see how this root ball is really and how, how the root mass is formed. Because then I know what kind of pot you can go into. I have a couple of ideas for pots. So, so I'm just going to comb this all out. I don't want to take bore you with it. Um, but we're just going to get through it all. Not too much mycorrhiza, but there's enough there. So I'm just using my hand for now, just to feel around. Um, and now I'm just going to get my root hook. And most, most, the beauty of this, obviously, the beauty of this soil that I use, it's very open, so it just falls away. So I'm trying to comb out as much as I can, rather than cut off just yet. I don't usually cut too much off my clients, unless they form a ridiculous root ball that is really annoying. So I'm just going to keep working that, work it all out, and I'll come back and show you how we choose a pot and how we position the new tree in the new angle. Okay, be back. All right, welcome back. So I have done the root pruning on it, just very lightly, not not too much. You can see quite a substantial, still lots of roots on it, which is really good. Um, I did find the base is quite a big, bulging kind of base, which limits the kind of pot I can use. So I really only have this pot that I'm going to put it in. Now I've already mounted some soil up in there. I'm just trying. To I was just trying to play around with the angle and so on. So I'm just gonna try and get this in the, in the pot and how I'd like to see it. So I was pretty limited in pot choice. I wasn't, didn't have much really, this is the only pot I really had that kind of suited this tree, which looks pretty good. Now, I really have to look carefully at this pot because 
It's how I want the tree to be angled. And I've already kind of wired the branches to be positioned like that. So it is on a slant. So this is the tricky part where you've just got to get the angles right. And this just takes a bit more time um, than, than, you know, just give yourself that time to get it right exactly how you want it. Because once you repot it, you're stuck with that for a while. You don't really want to touch the roots on this tree for another few years anyway. I don't want to anyway. So, it's just not exactly how I want it. So, just, um, just trying to play around with the angle still. So, once we wire it in, it won't move, but we've got to get it in this right spot first. It's really tricky, but take your time. I did give the roots a little um, hose because it's very windy today and um, and they were starting to dry out a bit too much. So just to keep it safe, I did hose. So I'm looking side on. So the tree goes, has to, goes back a little bit and then comes forward, which is okay. But I just need to be happy with the position. I'm not entirely happy just yet. So I lift the pot up so I can look at it at an angle, or otherwise you can just squat down. So you can just take the chair away and squat down and have a look at it at the right viewing angle, just to see where it should be. Find your front of the pot and then adjust accordingly. Now I'm just gonna lightly tie this just so I can see it take a step back and have a look. As I said, the most important thing is getting the wrangle right on this tree. Otherwise, I'm just going to turn it to you guys. And I think it's, it's very hard to, to make out this area without seeing it in, in like a very plain background. I'm just going to step away and see if the background helps me. So I'm just going to step back here and look at it. Further down. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that actually. I think that's just right. I just had to twist it a little bit in the pot, and that looks much better. I'm just gonna have another look. This could sometimes take five to ten minutes to get it right, but once you gotta get it right. So by mounting the soil up on this side, I've been able to tilt the tree more that way to the other side. So mount it up here makes it more stable. Um, so that you can put it on the angle on that side and stay pretty, pretty strong. Let's do that whole, take the chair away and look at it at my angle. I'm pretty happy with that now. Okay, it took a little bit of time but we got there. Now I'm just going to make sure I tighten this tree. Now I know this, this wire will, you'll be able to see it for a little bit. But I'll probably only have that on for a year, just to stabilize the tree so it doesn't move. And I'll probably hide it with moss if I get a chance. And I'll have another one this way, which will hide it at the back anyway. So no big issue there. You can easily hide. Start to work the soil in. 
probably want to work mostly around here, especially at the start, just to get this side because it's more raised up. Let's get that, let's get that working. Because this side's a little bit more uh, flatter, so the roots are further down, so it's going to be much easier to, to, to worry about that. This one we'll use the chopsticks. So again, now you can pretty much work pretty quickly, really buried in this area here, really get into those into those crevices in this section here especially. And get it right down in there. Work your chopstick in. And I'm just going to keep working that in and I'll come and do a little twist around and show you the final product, okay? So everyone, um, it's looking quite good. I'm pretty happy with it. I might have to just tweak a few branches here and there just to get them in the right spot in the new new, new pot. So looking really good. I'm pretty happy. Just a couple of these, I think I'm going to pull them down a little bit, but nice, nice in this new pot. I think uh, it will grow nicely in this, in this pot. Yeah, nice, nice little change. I think I'm pretty happy with it. Always double checking and triple checking, but yeah, pretty happy. I think if I had a bit more, a kind of a slightly deeper pot, maybe it would suit it better. But really, it was the only choice I had this time around. So, you know, guys, hope you enjoyed that um, nice little repotting video. Uh, and see more for next time. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. And as I mentioned in a previous video, um, YouTube have changed the way you get notifications. So you really need to click the little bell icon when you subscribe to be able to get notifications when I put new videos up. Because um, they don't send emails anymore when I put new videos up, so they usually need to have the app on the phone to get notified. So just a little thought I'll let you know that. Um, but anyway, hope you guys enjoy that and see you next time. Bye.